I don't think I could eat like. Misha here so I'm actually just getting out of class it's about 10 30 10 35 at night and I am dead tired but I thought it would be a good time to discuss some tips and ways on how to survive nursing school as you all know if you are about to start nursing school or if you're in nursing school it is not easy girl it's not easy me I actually work from home and I work full-time pretty much like 8 to 3 30 and then I have school at night from 4 30 to 9 50 10 o'clock at night all week so I am extremely busy so I have a couple of tricks a couple of tips on how to survive it so let's get started so I made a couple of notes um so I have about seven tips on how to actually survive nursing school and how to actually get through it. Um, tip number one, you must learn your learning pattern or your learning style, if that makes sense. So you need to figure out if you're an auditory learner, if you are a hands-on, if you are a person that likes visuals, um, that is gonna be key in surviving nursing school so for me for example i am an auditory learner and i like to watch videos and youtube videos and something that's going to help break the material down even more so that i can understand it okay so you definitely need to know your learning style tip number two you have to be organized i cannot stress it enough okay you need to have a plan you need to know when you're going to study you need to know how you're going to study where you're going to study you need to have your life together the best thing that i recommend you do is to get like an organizer or a planner me i have these cute little notebooks i like to take with me and i also have this cute little planner that i organize everything okay everything in this thing i am lost without it can't do it can't handle both without it um so you definitely want to write everything down you need to know when assignments are due you need to know the chapters you need to read prepare for before lecture you need to know what you need to have ready for clinicals you need to know what skills you need to learn and study on your own rather it be youtube videos or you know however it is you find the, the information to try to learn it that's what you need to stay on top of so organize third is record your lectures for me, because I work full time during the day and I go to school full time at night, I don't have a lot of time at all. I have two days off a week and those two days are, are consisting of me cleaning, cooking, doing my hair. <laughs> um, you know, I just don't have enough time. So when I'm driving to school, I'm listening to lecture when I'm taking a shower, taking a bath, I'm listening, listening to lecture when I'm getting ready in the morning, when I'm working out in the gym, when I'm running, when I'm on the treadmill, I have headphones listening to lecture because again, I am an auditory learner and I learn better by replaying what my doctor, doctor, my professor is pretty much saying over and over and over again. And sometimes when you do listen to things over and over again, it sometimes it clicks later on. So. It definitely works for me so try it it should definitely work for you as well that's the best thing um, tip number four balance you have to have balance if it's all work no play 
you're gonna burn out. Now I get it, when you start nursing school, you're gonna hit the ground running, you're not gonna have time, you're not gonna have a social life, you're not gonna have time to do anything, but you have to make time. When you have a certain day off, do something that makes you happy, rather it's going to go get a manicure, go get your hair done, go take a walk, go exercise, go hang out with friends and family, even if it's just for an hour, hour and a half. All of those things are so important in order to make sure that you're able to be sustainable, to make sure that you're able to, you know, last. Because this program is no joke. Nursing school is very, very hard. And if you don't learn how to have balance, if you don't learn how to enjoy life and enjoy everything along with the process, it's, it's easy to get burnt out. I've gotten burnt out. I thought I was gonna quit three or four times. There were nights where I came home crying, like, I can't do it. There were times where I had to call my mom, like, I wanna quit. She was like, girl, you crazy? You, you better not quit. I'm like, but I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm tired. I want my life back. I wanna make wigs. I wanna sit here and do nothing, okay? So it's really, really, really hard but you can do it if i can do it if i can work full time and go to school full time you can do it too tip number five wine and lots of it i love wine i'm not telling you to be an alcoholic but i like to enjoy my glass of wine on my day off whether i'm watching netflix i'm watching Grey's anatomy i'm on the couch i'm watching youtube videos having my little favorite glass of mosquito mosquito Moscato or Pinot Grigio, I love or Pinot Noirs. Y'all know I like my wine. It really makes me feel happy and zen. I ain't saying get drunk all the time though. No. I ain't saying that. But I am saying to enjoy yourself and do things that make you happy. Okay. Tip number six. Stay positive. Stay positive okay it's gonna get hard you're gonna want to quit you're gonna compare yourself to every other student in that classroom you're gonna fail some exams i failed some exams you're gonna ace some exams i ace some exams you have to stay positive you have to stay motivated you have to look at the big picture you have to look at the end picture okay it's just temporary you're gonna get through it you can do it okay so just stay positive stay optimistic listen to lectures listen to motivational speakers listen to sermons listen to your pastor listen to whatever it is you got to do motivational songs to keep you motivated okay just do it it's gonna help and last but not least number seven You have to have a study schedule and a plan and you have to prioritize your school. So even though I'm saying to have balance and have fun from time to time, you have to know what's important. You have to have a study schedule. Like for me, I make sure I review and I read a chapter or I review material at least one to two hours per day, okay? That's what I need in order to stay on top of my studies, in order to make sure I stay making A's and B's. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not an A student. I am a B student. But I'm so thankful that I'm even, like, getting through this program. Because with me working full time, like, you don't have a life. So if I can do it, you can do it. So you have to prioritize your time. You have to set guidelines. You have to say no to some people. You have to say no to some friends and family. Sometimes you got to put yourself first and you have to think, okay, this is just a year, two years, three years, four years. I have to grind it out. And at the end, we can party up. We can do whatever it is that, I, that you want to do. Okay. So you have to make sure that you prioritize your time. So those are the top seven. I hope I named all seven. Did I name? I think I did but those tips I feel like are the most helpful for me they're the most helpful for me these are things that were told to me from other successful nursing students from other successful RNs you know so definitely just stay positive you will get through it you have to push through it and you're gonna be good okay we gonna make that money okay just stay consistent and do what you got to do and handle your business okay but that's all that i have for today let me know if any of you guys are nursing students 
let me know if y'all work full time too how are y'all managing how are y'all balancing do you have kids do you have a life do you have like what's going on with y'all so just keep me posted and let me know but all right y'all good night <laughs>